All right, everybody, exercise number one that we're going to use to start fixing this super annoying asymmetrical pull-up thing that we got going on, a little shrug, whatever, blah, 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 tight neck. Ah, uh, God, my neck hurts when I do this. Yeah, so it's very common. First thing we need to do, we talked about our three steps already, we need to fix sagittal plane motion. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do one of my favorite ones that's just going to force you into the right position. It is rocking. So you're going to sit on the ground. You're going to bend your knees up toward your chest. You're going to grab your feet and you're going to rock back onto your back and then back up onto your butt. You're going to rock back onto your back, back up onto your butt 20 times. Now, we got to talk about progressions because even little tiny changes totally change this exercise. So the baseline is grab your toes and rock back. Um, if you can't do that, what I've been liking is I'll uh, just give people a little hand towel that you find in most gyms and you wrap it around your feet and you're holding the towel. So now you can hold the towel and it's closer to you than your feet would be. That way you don't have to scrunch up quite as much and it, it alleviates some of the pressure, some of the difficulty of it. What I want you to do though, if you can't do that, is I want you to grab that towel as far away as you need to, but as, uh, oh wait, as close to you as you need to, but as close to your feet as you can. And I want you to eventually, I want you to do that twice a day, every day, 20 rocks. And I want you to eventually get to where you can hold on to your toes. So maybe you do it for a week and then just try it. Or maybe you do a couple sets and then try it again. And sometimes that just loosens you up and then you're good. Um, that I've talked about this exercise before. I'll, I'll link to it in the description because um, I don't want to go into it too much. I got my lights set up to not rock <laughs> and I've already talked about that one. So I'll just uh, show you that video. Um, but this exercise, if you've, you know, if you've been watching some of my stuff, you'll notice that I use this one a lot. Um, it just, it, it checks a lot of boxes for a lot of different people. It's one of my go-tos, right? It's a really good one. I've, you know, I've decided to give it to basically every single one of my clients this month um, just to see who can do it and who can't do it. It's, it's a nice challenge. It's, you know, you don't have to sit there and hold a position and breathe or whatever. You just scrunch up, hold your feet and do the thing. Can you do it? Can you not do it? The last thing I will add is if this is going to be effective, you have to only breathe through your nose, in through the nose, out through the nose, nice and calm. Where should you be feeling this? Deep abdominals, lower abdominals. That's ideally what you're getting. You might get some uh, top of thigh, hip flexor, top front of thigh. That's OK. Those are helping scrunch you up and that's totally fine. Um, I think that's it. That's step number one. Do some rocking.